how to gain patience, how to gain delayed gratification, all these things that you need. Bruh, if you ain't patient, you might fuck around miss your blessing, chasing a goal, chasing a greed. If you don't have self-discipline and fucking the ability to have the late gratification, you're going to be in trouble, though. You're going to be in trouble, though. You're going to block your own blessings because you can't be patient and wait. Your turn. Bro, everybody in life, got it's going to be their season, their turn, bro. Your season might not be now. That don't mean you're going to do some dumb shit chasing the bag, you feel me, or chasing whatever. Just wait your turn, keep grinding, keep showing up every single day. And eventually, your time will come. But if you sitting up, man, fuck, I'm sick of this. I, I ain't being patient. I'm out of, no. Now, I'm not saying just be, sit around and be broke. Hell no. Nah. But don't give up on that dream so damn fast. It might be year 10 that bit take off. But you gave up on that bit in year 9. Like, really understand this. Patience is so hard because... I think in human nature, we want everything fast. Anything that's shiny or seems like a uh, give rich quick scene, we love it. If people be like, like safe stuff, like uh, invest in an S&P 500, you'll get 10% a month. People don't like that. But they say, come sports bet, come sports bet and make that in a, in a fucking day. They be like, oh shit, I'm going sports bet. Fuck that 10%. But 10% guarantee that 100% in sports bet, that, that's not a guarantee. But it's fine, it's shiny, it's fast, it's quick. Just because it's fast and it's coming quick don't mean it's always the best thing. You got to understand that the best things come with time. God not going to put certain things or hold some things up for no reason. God, everything you go through is teaching you so you, so when he gets you to the final destination, you already know how to stay there. I'm going to talk about my store, for example. I went to a school in the middle of nowhere, country town. And, you know, I was a quiet, laid-back kid, stayed around my friend group. And when I got there, I was by myself. By myself. And I was still this quiet, shy kid. And I wasn't, I didn't have a problem being myself, but I wasn't used to being by myself. I always had somebody near me. If it was a family member, a friend, I could always call somebody. But when I got there, I was all alone. And it taught me, bro, in this life, you came in this bitch yourself, and you, you came in this world by yourself, and you're going to leave this world by yourself. You got to learn to love you and learn how to be by you. Now, I'm all the way in Detroit, a thousand miles away from home. And I have no problem being alone. I love being by myself. But I wouldn't have, if I didn't go through that experience, I won't be able to enjoy what I have now. If I didn't go through that, I won't be able to enjoy what I have now. If I, it was a, it was a point in time where I used to drive by my friends to LSU, take a almost full five hour drive every single weekend to go with my friends because I like being with myself. I really did, and I did that. See, like, I was trying to run away from the ground. I, was, I didn't really see what God was setting up for me because I was. Going to the quick and shiny thing. Oh, LSU parties, my friends. I didn't see the vision. I didn't see what God was setting up. But now I see it clear as day. We never understand it until it happens. You will never understand why you go through something until you get to the final destination. Once you get to that final destination, you'll be like, damn, I appreciate everything. But until then, you're going to be like, man, why me? No, hell that. Fuck that. Why not me? God wouldn't put you through if you couldn't go through it. God wouldn't make you wait if you could not wait. God will not make you struggle if you could not struggle. Everything you go through is a full reason and for a season. You're going to meet people for a reason and for a season. You're going to go through things for a reason and a season. You're going to see people and the unseen of people for a reason and a season. Like, none, none of it is an accident. None of it is an accident. And I think we need to start realizing that. Like, I say this in every video. The script is already written. You just living it. The script is already written. You just living in it. Like, you don't need to try to reinvent the wheel or do anything crazy. Bro, there's millions. There's a lot of fucking millionaires out there. So, if you follow their script, 
your script might be a little different, but they got a game plan set for you already. If you follow that game plan, I'm pretty sure it, that person might take them two years. It might take you three or four. Or it might take you a year. But if you follow the game plan, it's going to work for you. It's been done already. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Just be patient and trust the plan. When when it's like, you know how we be having those dreams? We don't have those dreams on accident. We don't meet certain people on accident. I feel like you go through certain things to give you motivation and be like, okay, let's lock in. Let's do this. Like you do you go through certain things to change your perspective on shit. So you be like, damn, I never thought about it like that. Okay, I'm gonna do it this way. And that take you to the next level. If if you start really analyzing what goes on in your life, you will see God is implementing these things for you. He's guiding you. He's letting, he's leading it away. All you gotta do is follow him. But if you don't want to have the patience to follow him in his plan that he has for you, you're going to be fucked up. You're going to be fucked up doing something you ain't even supposed to be doing. You you might set yourself back five years because you ain't trusting the plan. See, I had an opportunity. When I had an opportunity. I, I, pray, I cried out to God. I said, man, show me a path. Show me a path. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with my life. I cried out. And then I started working. And maybe a month later, I got an offer to move to from New Orleans to Detroit. Out of thin air. Out of thin air. The, the coach said, God just said, let me see what he's doing. Let me just check up on him. And he offered me on the spot. It's not by accident. Things like that don't happen by accident. So y'all got to really understand, like, when y'all see these signs, take them and run with it. Take them and run with it. God leading the way. You just got to follow him. He's leading the path. And once he leads that path, you just got to follow behind them. But a lot of times we're not patient enough. to. F we, if we don't understand it or if we can't see the vision, we can't follow it. You don't always need to see what's going on to follow it. Trust, that's, that's what a faith pulls to come in. A faith that knowing that God got my back. God is going to put me in the best position to see. God is going to make sure that I'm successful. God plan for me is greater than what, what anything I can think. You got to have that faith knowing that this man is not to take care of you. But we don't have patience, so we do a lot of dumb shit. Which is normal. Human like human like activities. But it's no need to rush and go do dumb shit and chase shit when you destined to be something greater. Now I understand there are foreseen circumstances where you feel like you have to do any do certain things, but you don't have to do anything. That's just your figmentation of your imagination telling you that, oh I gotta go do this. Cause look, all right. So say, say like, you like, man, fuck it, I'm gonna go sell weed. Okay, you go sell weed, and you get locked up. Whole time, God was setting up a play for you to become a big content creator next year. But she was just like so pressed for cash that she like, well, this is the only way I can do it. But whole time, he was about to change your life next year. He was about to put you in a in a mansion next year. He was about to Give you that financial freedom next year. You just couldn't be patient enough. You just had to be like, fuck it, I'm out of go chase this. Now you probably such a you might still get that reach that goal, but you might set yourself back 15 years. You might set yourself back, set yourself back 20 years when you're supposed to have it at 21, but now you're not getting it to your 42. Man, I really want y'all to understand that everything happens for a reason. God makes no mistakes. Keep your faith. Trust him with his plan and be more patient. I love y'all boys. Miracle for our kids.